edition of fast go on real on the corrections officers and uh, I think I think I firm do let's deal with y'all can but already looking bad let's go a man beaten deputies arrested the man was still charged with assaulting them today hold on, on y'all did y'all just see that did y'all just see how they was willing on that young man well by the way the man is 41 years old but he's still young in my eyes because it ain't no way that they should be jumping on him like that in a, a suit. I've had plenty of opportunities and plenty of run-ins with St. Louis 3rd District Police Department. Matter of fact, I got both of these calls on above my eyes from that, so I know a little bit of something about br brutality. I've been out there in them trenches, and it's not a real place. But I don't think I've never experienced the brutality that's going on, or maybe we just didn't hear about it. But let's get back into it. I can announce all, all charges have been dropped against that man you saw. Amen for that. Let me remind you of the original reporting. Okay. Okay, man has been doing that. Oh, oh, no, he did come in there. Oh, okay. They came into the cell. He's on suicide watch. They jump him. Oh, they beat. No, he's providing man. no resistance. Is a gang related Stand attack? Swing. Brother, help him. Look help. at the brutality oh, here. Brother, other inmates literally come to save That's his family. this man. No other news agency has this story yet. We're the first to bring this to you, and I have significant background as to what happened to this man. Wow, very sad. It continues, and what and afterwards, literally, they did nothing to help him. All right, put up a picture of the Camden. Cam First of all, I want to say a prayer to every everybody involved. I want to say prayers to this man's family. Don't nobody deserve this type of beating, no matter what color you is. But it is becoming an epidemic that people are jumping on black men out here. It's very scary out here to be a black man these days. And I just want y'all to do keep your head on a swivel. Not only do you got to watch these guys in the streets, you got to watch these people. Because not all police are bad. I'm not going to throw that out there. Uh, but you know how they say, one bad apple could ruin a bunch. Let's get back into it. County facility. This is in Georgia. As it's very close to Florida. And many of those who live in Camden County will commute and work in the state of Florida. Okay. Jail employees entering the cell of Mr. Hobbs. Mr. Hobbs was there for a nonviolent offense. Wow. And obviously committed no violence to provoke those cops. Wow. At least three white male staff members beat and strangled Mr. Hobbs before dragging his completely limp body out of the First of all, I just want to say this. I've been in that situation. I'm, I was young, I was brash, I made a mistake and injured a police officer. And when I say every officer in third district of St. Louis, Missouri came and punched me, it felt like I, think I had cracked ribs and a beautiful face. And they told me if I, um, if I wanted medical attention, I would catch another choice. So I understand some of these tactics. Let's get back into it. Sale, they brutalized him. Hobbs was arrested for driving. 
Yeah, let's look at this a couple of, I'll give you a second to look at this for a minute. Possession of control, Dustin's. He was 41, y'all. Still a young man. Did not receive, just like me, did not receive medical attention. Oh, okay, so he punched the wall, so he had to put a cast on after he done punched this, made a mistake and missed. Under a suspended license and possession of a controlled substance. That's what he was in there for. The 41 year old was held in isolation for 15 days after the unprovoked attack. That's how they did After. He did not receive any medical attention at all. One of the officers in the video did have his hand placed in a cast after he punched a uh, a jail wall in a missed blow. Now he had to be swinging really hard at this inmate. He just tried to tap. I know the walls are kind of concrete, and just tapping the walls are hurt. But just hitting that wall, he had to be swinging for the fences to be hurt, to hurt his hand like that. At Hobbs, we received from trusted sources. We exposed what happened sources. inside of that jail. We received a secondary video that also exposed after they beat him up. They put him in a wheelchair because his body was completely left. And they then threw him out of the wheelchair into the cell. See, and I don't, don't condone violence on anybody, but this is why these officers getting what they getting because a lot of them are doing stuff that, that's under the table. Now you wonder why, I understand you wanna go home to your family, I do too. It's very dangerous out here, it's serious, man. Let's be careful out here with each other. Now, charges have been dropped, settlement has Amen. been done, cops have been charged. Okay. Let me give you the update to this story. A Georgia Sheriff's Office, has dropped all charges against a black man at the center of a viral jail beating by deputies and agreed to pay him a settlement, according to his attorneys. Despite the video showing deputies ganging up on Mr. Jarrett Hobb, who is 41 years of age, and pummeling him inside and on jail grounds, the Camden County Sheriff's Office hit him with a slew of charges anyway. That's of course to protect their cells so they could make it seem like they didn't do nothing. He was in the wrong. So he went, because I'm pretty sure he brought it up after he got out of jail. Prosecutors later determined it lacked sufficient evidence. You don't say. The Glenn County right. District Attorney's Office today dropped all criminal charges against Mr. Hobbs, including charges for assault, battery, and obstruction for justice, which deputies filed after beating. Mr. Hobbs, you gonna file a charge on me after, I, after you beat me? There's more. There's a warrant dismissal filed okay. on the 21st of this month. Said that state is now going to decline to prosecute drug and traffic charges further in the interest of justice. These were make me feel like I should have went ahead and went on through with it and, and reported just and, and took it anyway, cause he got all his charges dropped. All of them, even the ones when he was in the wrong. Separate charges he would have had to face if these deputies did not violate all known protocol and law. Now, <clears throat> the assault, battery, and obstruction charges were dropped due to insufficient evidence, obviously, to prove Hobbs was guilty of the charges. He never was. The video, battery. Mr. Hobbs on September 3rd, 2022 is when it happened. Filed the charges against him after the physical assault inside of the jail. When the video came out, it was abundantly clear that Mr. Hobbs was not the aggressor. Harry Daniel said to Georgia Public Broadcasting. Five jail deputies surrounded Mr. Hobbs in his cell before the assault. Footage shows the deputies taking turns, punching. Mr. Hobbs in the back of the head and neck by holding his wrist before he was thrown against the concrete wall after the initial beating. Hobbs was placed in a restraint chair and not provided medical aid. GPB after North Carolina investigators 
for trying to determine if he violated his probation, discovering his September arrest in Georgia. Hobbs probation stems from a 2014 guilty plea related to conspiracy to commit bank and wire fraud. Hobbs attorneys obtained the jail security footage and released it in November 2022. Soon afterwards, the GBI launched an investigation into the assault. Three deputies. Were- you heard that? That was cool, though. It's, he was finna get in trouble for it. His probation officers and then released it because it needed to be released. They was hiding it, putting it on the rug. Another agency exposed another agency, and that's that's how they're supposed to work. That ain't supposed to be where. And shout out to them. Shout out to them. Uh, shout out to North Carolina. Were fired on November 20, 2022. Mason, Derek, and Ryan Beagle were arrested and charged with battery of an inmate and violating the rules of office. The two employees involved disciplinary actions after an internal investigation, but were not fired by the sheriff's office. Hold on, wait a minute. So y'all beating them, you beat them like that and you don't get fired? See, that's what's wrong with him. We give him another opportunity. So now he feel like he got a spank on the hand. And now he feel like he can get a little, get away with it. He's just going to be a little more secretive about it. Man, they should let him go. We should be trying to fire to get them fired. All three of them and anybody else. The stories of abuse and corruption surrounding this detention center and the Camden County Sheriff's Office are beyond disturbing. And those responsible must be held accountable, Attorney Bakari Sellers said. Hobbs attorneys also announced an undisclosed settlement was reached with the Camden County Sheriff's Office stemming from the assault. Attorney Harry Daniels, let's put him up. He said, and I quote, and he spoke okay. directly to Indisputable uh, during like this man. matter. Look like he eat a lot of cheeseburgers, but you know, hey, who am I? But uh, shout out to him. But he said, and I quote, let's be clear, no one deserves to be beaten like that. This settlement doesn't make up for that, not by a long shot, but. It's not about the money, it's about the principle. I understand that, brother. At the end of the day, Mr. Hobbs' charges were dropped. The officers who beat him have been charged, and this settlement gives him and his family a new way forward. That's some. Now I'm confused. Are the correctional officers, or they were they, or were they officers of the law? That's a big difference. Um, if you know, drop in the comments. Let me know. Anybody from North Carolina or anybody from Georgia, where this came from, Camden, let me know in the comments. Thing we can all be proud of. Um, I'm not sure of the settlement amount. I can guarantee you that the settlement amount is not, let's say, going to change the reality of what he faced. True. Maybe it provides an element of closure, perhaps Mm -hmm. a sense of justice. Mm -hmm. But once again, who's paying for the disruptive and criminal behavior of those deputies? The people paying for them, that's who paying for them, the taxpayers. The taxpayers of Camden County See? will pay for that. It's called defunding the police by way. Are they, are they going to get bent out of shape, hold a press conference, tweet on social media about how bad cops continue to defund the police? Of course not. But I guarantee you, if a Black Lives Matter activist would have held a press conference and said, we are called for the defunding of the police to reprioritize the bu- budget so that we can real crime in this county. All of a sudden, all conservatives in Camden County will say, stop defunding the police back to blue. Okay, y'all, I just wanted to give y'all this update on this story. This is an incredible story. Shout out to Indisputable. Thank you for the coverage. Thank you for uh, sh- keeping us updated. I appreciate you. I'm a loyal follower, brother, and I understand that what you're doing is opening our eyes up, not just in the Black America, to America, to the inside and inner lookings of what's really going on. And I appreciate you for that. Um, drop in the comments what you think about this story. I just wanted to give you a, a quick update about it. Let me know how you feel. And um, like and subscribe. It's been a real, um, it's been a real. Thank y'all very much.
like and subscribe. Come on. What's wrong with y'all?